Nowadays, people are getting increasingly concerned about their health, but the fact is that few people are in good health in the real sense. What we know of good health is actually a condition without diseases. With the environment pollution getting worse, there is hardly a pollution-free place. We are living in this polluted environment. Owing to the multiple factors of air pollution, magnetic radiation, improper diet, overworking, fast life pace, and constant psychological strain, the body cells of many people are more or less harmed. Though in some of the ability to transfer the body toxin, as well as the permeability of the cells, this makes it hard to expel the wastes, acids. And free radical toxins generated in the process of metabolism, which contribute to sub-health or diseases. According to scientific findings, toxins accumulated in the human body can lead to the decrease of immunity, cancers, overburden of organs, and organ exhaustion. Upon a many-year research, scientists have worked out a new method to expel body toxins. It is based on the theories of physics. Biology, electrochemistry, and penetration therapy of dialysis, as well as theories of toxicology. Instant effect comes after a mere 30 minutes foot bath, just like giving a shower to the body cells. The human body is made of cells, and the cell membrane is the wall to screen out foreign substances. There is a transforming mechanism on the surface of the cell membrane, whose duty is to get needed substances. And expel wastes produced in metabolism. Therefore, one's health is heavily dependent on the healthy cells. A required electric potential is needed in the process of the transfer of cell substances. The normal cell electric potential is at minus seventy to minus ninety millivolts. Once the normal electric potential is damaged, the cells will be unable to absorb nutrition. Nor will they be able to expel the toxins. Besides, the cell permeability will decrease as a result of the body toxins. Excessive toxin in the body or delayed expelling of them can lead to various diseases or deterioration of the diseases. It generates a particular frequency to gather bioenergy, and by the detector, will conduct the bioenergy into the water to cause a series of physical. Chemical and energy reactions, so that the water will become the needed negative electric potential and micromolecules. The intensified negative electric potential of the foot bath will cause a negative electric potential in the human body accordingly. The cell permeability will be improved, and the normal electric potential of the cells will be restored. The negative electric potential in the foot bath water may make this clear. There are four cups of water here, which are numbered one, two, three, and four. T is put for cup one and cup two, while cup three and cup four are added with oil. Then we pour some ordinary drinking water into cup one and cup three. Cup two and cup four are mixed with water processed by the toxin expeller. As we can see clearly, the expeller processed water in cup two and cup four has obvious stronger dissolving power and penetrability. This is because the hydrogen bonds in the expeller processed water are opened, and the original macromolecules are changed into micromolecules, and the dissolving power and penetrability are obviously increased. The micromolecule water can pass the skin and infiltrate into the cells to dissolve the toxins accumulated therein. On the other hand, it can dissolve the body fat, expelling toxins wrapped by the body fat. The fat toxins will be moved to the feet by the blood circulation and can be expelled out of the body through pores. The cycle of the blood circulation in human body takes about thirty color changes. All the water are related to the toxins from different organs in the body. With the progress of the toxin spelling, the color of the water will become increasingly lighter. The textbook facts can be shown by a comparison between urine tests before and after toxin spelling.
the most ocular proof is the shape of the red blood cells. Prior to the toxin expelling, red blood cells stick to each other in a chain like form as a result of high blood fat and thickness. This can affect the cell's ability to carry oxygen as well as to pass the capillary vessels. After the toxin expelling, the degree of blood fat and thickness decrease sharply, and the red blood cells get unlocked with each other. Their ability to carry oxygen as well as to pass the capillary vessels is drastically increased, which is good blood supply to the heart, muscle, and the brain.